alien stuff. Hello, hooligans! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey Marie and I'm your resident graffiti artist slash attorney. Today, we're gonna be talking about the 3M respirator that has the P100-2097 filters. I was actually doing a project on my sister-in-law's desk and I was shadow staining the desk. And so I needed a whole lot of paint stripper to get all that paint off so that I could stain it. Started getting a little dizzy, then started seeing some, some stars. I went to Lowe's and I told the nice lady, I said, hey, I've been using this paint stripper stuff. It's been real good. And she's like, have you been using a respirator? And I was like, no. And she goes, you haven't been using a respirator and you've been paint stripping for how many hours? And I was like, a lot. I just kind of thought maybe I was dehydrated or something. Turns out I was killing off all my brain cells. I got this respirator basically just because the Lowe's lady told me to do so. But I did some research this week. So first of all, the brand is 3M and they make a whole bunch of different respirators. So they make respirators that are your full face just for things like mold because apparently mold spores can get in your system through your eyes. If that ain't sketchy, I don't know what is. Get out of my eyeballs. That's alien stuff. This is a half face mask and it also has these pancake filters and the pancake filters are different from the chemical cartridge fil the chemical cartridge filter. I, dude, I'm not even gonna be able to get through like half this video without like some serious bloopers. The pancake filters are different from the chemical cartridge filters because those actually filter out a little bit more than these guys. Is that rain? It's sunny outside. That's also really gonna be horrible for my video because I'm gonna have like background noise of rain. I waited a day to, to shoot this video because the lawn care came and here comes the air conditioning. Mother of God! background noise. Patience is one of the fruits of the spirit and clearly I don't have it today. This guy is a P100 and that means that it is oil proof. So even if you have oil in the air, it's still going to be able to filter out whatever's going in it. It actually uses a static electric charge in order to take in these particles and normally oil would interfere with that, but these guys are specially designed so that that doesn't interfere with it at all. I use Montana water-based spray paints just because they're supposed to be healthier for you, but I have a video on the Montana water-based spray cans if you guys want to know about the toxicity of those. The majority of spray paints, normally they're oil based and so these guys actually will filter out any particles that come in regardless of the oil in the air. This guy's main job is to filter out organic and inorganic particles. There's actually a layer of charcoal that's in these guys so that it can filter out the organic stuff like mold versus the inorganic stuff such as asbestos and lead. Oh and I forgot to mention yes this does take care of viruses. 99.97% of viruses are caught by this guy. So if you want to wear this to Kohl's when you are going shopping in order to protect you from the coronavirus, it's actually a very good tool. If I see somebody in Kohl's wearing this to protect them from the coronavirus, I'm going to think either maybe you've gone too far or maybe you're super smart. This guy also has nuisance level organic vapor relief. Say that five times fast. Basically the stuff that OSHA says that you don't really need to be protected from, but it really kind of smells like crap. This is gonna protect you from it. So next time your brother farts, just put one of these bad boys on, there you go. Because it is an organic vapor rated mask, it will protect you from aerosols. It will also protect you from propellants which are the most toxic elements of spray paint. The 3M respirator selection guide, it says that you should change your filters out every 40 hours or every 30 days. Only after a year did I notice it was hard to breathe. I could still smell through it. I just didn't feel very safe. I went into houses that were under construction with it, didn't smell anything. I went to houses that were being cleaned with bleach 
and the people who were in there had no respirators on and I was the one with the respirator. And I actually think I scared that woman. If you're watching, I apologize. I didn't really think I looked that bad in it. So I guess I'm not going to Kohl's in it. I think as long as you make sure that it's easy to breathe and you make sure that you're not smelling all the outside things, I think you're pretty good. This guy was 20 bucks at Lowe's. I can't really remember. I was half brain dead for obvious reasons. And then you can get the replacement filters. I got four of them for 15 bucks on Amazon. What makes me really sad is that when I went into these homes that were being constructed, none of the guys were wearing respirators. There was so many particulates in the air it was like the air was heavy. So let's get into the dangers of not having this bad boy. Most spray paints have volatile organic compounds. They have these toxins in them and there are three in particular that most spray paints have. You have acetone, xylene, and toluene. For the graffiti artist who uses a spray paint that has those three in it, does this thing protect you? As far as acetone, yes. This guy will protect you from acetone because of the charcoal layer that's in it. Acetone really damages the central nervous system. The next is xylene. Xylene causes abdominal pain. It causes your coordination to be a little, little off. But the scariest part of xylene is that it induces the malignant transformation of the human liver cells. The bad news about this guy is I couldn't find anywhere that it said that it filtered out xylene. So the respirator that actually filtered out the xylene was the 3M NIOSH 42 CFR 84. Now you know why I need my computer. And it had, instead of these pancake filters, it had the chemical cartridge. And the third most common chemical in spray paint is the toluene, and that caused muscle fatigue, and it didn't really say if it caused cancer or not. According to the 3M respirator selection guide, you would need a respirator that has those chemical cartridges in order to filter that out. The issue is inhalation and it's also absorption through the skin. And in my case, it's also ingestion, which is why, see, I can't be trusted with normal spray paint. I was spray painting yesterday and I got hungry, so I decided to peel an orange and then I looked at the orange peel and I was like, why is that blue? I probably ate some of my spray paint. <laughs> my advice would be that you get this guy for the water-based and for your acetone, but then you get a more heavy duty respirator that has those chemical cartridges for your heavy duty chemicals. And honestly, guys, if I could say one more thing, it is not worth it. Your children need you, your spouse needs you. Like this stuff, it's fun. It's not worth it though. Research has shown that this stuff is harmful. I really care about anybody who's watching this video. I don't want you to be harmed just because you want to spray paint graffiti. So I feel like I shouldn't leave it on such a serious note. So here is uh, some clips of me making a chai tea latte with a hammer. Like, subscribe, comment, don't like, don't subscribe, don't comment, be true to yourself. Please wear a respirator, enjoy. First ingredient is Google. Specifically, how to make a chai tea latte. Let's figure this out together. One tablespoon of sugar. I ain't doing that. Half tablespoon black tea only. One glass milk, got it. Half glass water, got it. Cardamom pods. Cardamom. Car Cardamom mom. Cardamom mom. Cardamom mom. Carvana. The cardamom comes in these like little seed thing with jiggers. Isn't that cool? I have to like bend down to get into the, the shot. Oh no, oh no, oh, I got it. Job number one is I have to crush the cardamom pods, but it'll work. Man, that's irritating. All right, I'm gonna gently tap them with the hammer. Or maybe I could just smoosh them. <gasps> I did it. Ow! You're gonna find other girls on YouTube that have like all these fancy tools and things, but you know, I'm too cheap. Like these pants are from, I think, high school, which they don't really fit anymore. You know you've got a problem when you're putting your pants on and it's so difficult that your ears start ringing. I got a lid. I'm gonna just need the rest of it. Just rinse this out. It had eggs in it and they're only raw until they were cooked. Well, let me see what the YouTube video says. Yeah, you have a fancy bowl. I do not. And yet we still ended up at the same place, didn't we? Wait, add a half glass of water. Wait, pause, pause. Everyone calm down. The stress? What is a half glass of water? Glass. Okay, you're gonna have to back up, lady. You're going way too fast. You gotta be fancy. Bam! <laughs> Wait, where'd I, oh. 
got them out to show you. Okay, what do we do now? You can make YouTube videos while you're watching a YouTube video. What do we do now? You bring out the milk. Okay, so what do I do now? I have to make a cha. Oh, so then you just simmer it until it simmers down. Literally down. Dude, I made chai. Every time I go to Starbucks, I always say a Tai Chi latte. I guess I'm just dyslexic. That's a hard word, dyslexic. Why would you call it, why would you make dyslexic? Oh my God. Okay, forget it. This is my favorite glass. Don't tell me it's in here. Got no money in there. Darn it. Dude, shut the front door. Okay, I think it's cool enough. It's so spicy.